Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy, and welcome to round 2 of Mad Madness. In this tournament, it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an AFC matchup today in Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game, and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Titans, it's the Texans, it's Mad Madness, and it's time to get going. The Titans will get the ball first, which means that the Texans will get the ball first to start the second half. And if the Titans want to win this game, they need to be a lot better on third down, and they need to be a lot better throwing the ball. They actually scrambled for more yards than they threw. So that definitely needs to be a lot better for the Titans. For the Texans, they had a pretty solid game. They pitched a shutout against the Colts. They won 14-0 in round one. And Yates got two touchdowns for zero picks. So they just need to keep doing what they're doing. Let's see, as Mariota comes out, he threw one touchdown last round against the Jags in their 7-3 upset. Sorry, he didn't throw for a touchdown, he ran for a touchdown. So no throwing touchdowns, but no interceptions. Let's see if the Titans can overcome their offensive struggles that they had last round as they faced the tight or the Texans on this first down with Henry. And so far so good. It's a gain of about six or so. Making it second and four, more or less, as we get a look at the Titans offense. Derrick Henry, DeMarco Murray, Delaney Walker. Second and five. Three receivers. Mariota fakes the handoff, rolls to his right, and he's going to sprint upfield. He's going to spin the defender before sliding down after a gain of 16. And... Just like last week, he has more scrambling yards than throwing yards. I keep saying, <laughs> I keep, I keep saying, uh, last week, but I mean last round. Excellent spin move by Mariota, though. Not so sure that's going to work the entire game this round but so far so good Walker in motion Henry gets the ball up the gut and Henry has close to a first down before he runs into his own man they're gonna say it's closer to 10 yards than 9 second and inches and this would be a prime opportunity to Take a shot down the field as they've cut the ball on the ground for every play thus far. See what they do here on second and inches. Three receivers under center is Mariota. Pitch to Henry. And Henry knocks a defender back five yards with one arm. Wow, showing his strength with that run. It's enough for a first and four or five yards more. That was a nasty stiff arm. This will be a good look. Look at that. <laughs> he was running right at him, too. That is crazy. And just like that, the Titans are at the Texans 35.
Murray. And he's not going to be as productive as he's taken down for a loss of maybe half a yard. And here's the Texans defense. They were pretty weak last year, but they should be back to form now. They were riddled with injuries. Clowney, Cushing. Just under halfway left in the first as Mariota comes under center. Mariota to Murray. And Murray's driven down after a short gain. Gain of about four or so. Third and six coming up. First third down of the game. And this has been the Titans' struggle bus. So they say. One for five in their matchup against the Jags. Let's see if they can match on this play. Mariota's first throw, and he's going to fumble the ball, and Conklin's going to pick it up and march it forward for a couple more yards, but still going to be a couple yards short of the first. And that, was, that had potential for craziness. Conklin saved the day. Clowney's forced fumble, number three of Mad Madness. He had two against the Jags. Or no, sorry. Two against the Colts. And if Conklin could have just stayed up, that would have been a first. And a lot more. That would have been something. But instead, fourth and three. Out comes the Fugal unit. Kicks away, and he gets it in. No, he missed it. He missed it? The refs don't lie. Wide right. Had the leg, but just a little bit to the right. And the Texans are going to have some decent field position as they come onto the field. So the Titans had a pretty good drive, but it ended in a couple of critical mistakes, back-to-back -back critical mistakes, I must say, as Yates comes out under center, but four wide. We'll see what they do here. Yates to Miller, and Miller goes nowhere. He's actually going to lose a yard on the play. Second and 11 upcoming. Just under two left in the first. And that's a good job by the Titans. Overcoming that, uh... Actually, I would say it's a better uh, show of their mental um, strength. Overcoming that early adversity to get that play for a loss. We'll see what they do here on 2nd and 11, the Texans. Yates to Miller once again. And he's going to be brought down for a loss again. So third and 12. And just like that, the Titans are in good shape to get the ball back. Just under a minute left in the first. Third and 12. Yates will likely throw here. Yates. Time. Steps back. Throws toward the sideline. Incomplete. Let his man too much. And that's going to bring up fourth down. So the Titans will have a chance to make up for their mistake at the field goal line
Shane Leckler punts it away. And it's a pretty good kick. Forces the fair catch at the 17. So it's a net loss of three. As the Titans come out now. They had a pretty good drive, moved the ball a couple times, got to field goal range, but they did miss the field goal. And if they're in that range again, I would expect they go for it because that was not a very hard diff hard kick as far as NFL kicks are concerned. In the shotgun. Running formation. Henry. 18 yards. Minus 17, so gain of one. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. Titans and Texans. Let's try and say that ten times fast. It's very difficult. It's got me all frazzled. As we get to the end of the first, it's a tied game by default 0-0 zero, zero. all right we're back second and nine at the start of the second, Titans' second possession of the game. Under center is Mariota, and Henry runs by the blitz and, and brings it up to make it about a third and three. So third and three, Texans showing blitz. Mariota to Henry. And Henry is gonna be brought down short. Fourth and two. And the Titans will punt again. And this game's turned into a defensive slugfest so far. And curiously enough, they have pretty much kept the ball out of Mariota's hands. And when they have given it to him, he hasn't really thrown it. Very interesting play calls. Same thing happened against the Jags. So, back to punt now. Kern kicks away. Caught at the 15, it's Fuller, who falls down at the 25. Decent return of maybe seven yards. And here comes Yates. They wanna do a lot better. They're at negative yardage so far in this game. So out come the Texans trying to get some positive yardage. Under center is Yates. Yates fakes the handoff throws and he's got Hopkins 28 yards on the catch and excellent play call by Bill O'Brien he ran it twice in a row you're really trying to get the run going at least that's I don't know if you were really trying to do that or not but your failures set up an excellent uh, fake so hopefully this can amount into something now for the Tex for the Texans. Just under five minutes left in the second quarter. Three receivers. Yates 
Another play action fake. And he's got all day in the pocket. Throws eventually, and he's got Miller. Down to the 15, so after negative yardage on the first drive, here we go again. So they're at that magical 15 yard line where they can either go for the touchdown or they can just get the first and have a fresh set of downs pretty close to the goal line. We'll see what they try to do here as the Titans show blitz. Miller in motion. Yates alone in the backfield. Throws, hits Malik, who gets about five. Second and five upcoming. So, three minutes and 38 seconds left in the second. As the Texans break huddle, showing run. Their running game has not performed so far, so we'll see if this one run works, and it kind of does. Miller gets about two. And that's going to set up a short third down, third and four. And the Titans were 1 for 5 against the Jags on third down. And they're 0 for 1 this week, so. Oh, wait. Wrong cue card. <laughs> Yates. Sails over the head of his receiver, but there's a flag down on the play. This might be a pass interference call. And it is. It's on Derek Morgan. It's going to bring the ball to the two. And move the chains. So first and goal from the two. And the Titans, if they give up this touchdown, they got to be kicking themselves. They had the forced field goal attempt, but now they got to do it all over again. Yates. To Miller's blown up in the backfield. Loss of three on the play. And Miller, after four rushes, has negative five yards. That'll set up second and goal from a distance where it's more tempting to run, throw it than run it. Especially after his performance so far. Albeit it's not his fault entirely because the line's been kind of Swiss cheese. At least uh, the run blocking. As we get to the two-minute warning, Houston in the driver's seat, second and goal on the other side. Tied ball game at zero. So, five yards to go, second and goal. Three receivers, bounce set. Yates under center. Yates going to throw. Rolls to his left. Steps up on the run and incomplete. Just kind of tried to throw that away. Ended up hitting the back of the defender instead. But the result is the same. It's going to bring up third down. Oh, maybe he didn't try and throw it away. Okay. <laughs> Third and goal. Yates to Miller. Who can't get there? Fourth and goal. Tennessee's going to take a timeout. And Houston's going to have to settle for a field goal on the other side.
So fourth and goal. Houston will take the field goal attempt. Here is the kick, which is good. So Tennessee fails to hit theirs, but Kane Fairbane hits his. Three zip. Texans take the lead, but Titans will get the ball. With plenty of time to score, I must add. And the kick is away. Jackson runs it out for a second, but decides to take the knee. And the free 25. So Tennessee comes out, Mariota and company. And he's not really throwing the ball much here in Madden Madness. Let's see if they change their mind and try to get the ball in the quarterback's hands. Showing blitz are the Texans. And the pass is incomplete. Mariota's first pass of the game is wide. Bizarre. I don't know why they're not throwing the ball more. You gotta get them in rhythm. It is a passing lead at league after all. Nine rushes to one pass. I don't know, maybe they've seen something. Four receivers. Mariota's gonna throw again. And he's taken down for a sack, loss of six. And Houston will take a timeout now. Third and sixteen upcoming. So the Titans have really struggled on third down. One for five in their last game against the Jags and 0 for two so far. Let's see if they can convert here against this stout Texans D. Mariota breaks huddle with 25 seconds on the play clock. And comes out under center, three receivers, running formation. I would not expect a run. They will run with Henry. And Henry won't get there. He gets farther than many expect, but ultimately stops short. And I, I don't know. They must be just afraid. They must be just afraid that he's going to throw an interception or something. I don't understand these, these play calls by Mike Malarkey. They must be. They must have seen something in the Houston Texans defense. As Mariota looks on from the sidelines, And Kern kicks it away. Minute 30 left in the second. Fuller catches it, and he's bombed after a gain of maybe three or four. Ouch, you might want to call a fair catch next time. Otherwise, I know there's no injuries, but I'm sure that's got to hurt. 
Texans come on the field at the 20. And they're trying to make it a 10-point game before the start of the third quarter and before halftime. Running formation. Showing blitz are the Titans. Yates. Takes the handoff, throws with confidence to Fuller, and there's a flag down as Fuller is a foot, foot race to the end zone. He finally is take, tackled down at the 15, and we'll see what this flag's about, though. Ouch. So from one side of the field to the other, because of that holding penalty and that's a huge momentum killer that is a huge penalty that's going to be very frustrating for Texans fans to watch as four receivers for Yates he's going to throw steps into the end zone throws from the edge of the end zone Incomplete. Let his man too much. So, if Houston loses this game by three points, three or three points to seven points, we might be looking, we might be remembering back to that offensive holding call. Hand off to Miller. And Miller's brought down after a gain of two and Tennessee will take a timeout now third and 18 coming up all right here come the Texans on third down they're one for three today trying to make it two for four This side of the go uh, this side of the field, this close to your goal line, maybe a screen. I wouldn't even call a screen here. Maybe a pitch. Definitely running it either way. You have to be very, very confident to try and throw, and they don't. They run with Miller, who gets a yard, and Titans will take a timeout with a minute left. To preserve the clock. So Texans will be punting out of their end zone. And Tennessee will have a chance to take the lead going into halftime, which is pretty surprising considering they haven't completed a pass yet. And the Texans are trying to fire themselves up now. They need to prevent Tennessee from scoring. They're going to get pretty good field position too, unless this kick is a boomer. Shane Le Le Shane Le Leckler, la 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 la. <laughs> Twenty-five yard line. It's caught by Jackson. We can't dodge the defender, and he's brought down at the thirty. So fifty-five seconds left. No timeouts. Tennessee can go for the field goal here, but they need to be in their hurry-up offense, and they need to move as quick as possible. And this late, or this early in the game, you don't really see teams with depleted timeouts on both sides, and that's almost what we have here. One timeout for Houston, and that's it. Mariota surveys, throws, throws it away. 0 for 2 now on the day. And it might just be a com an accomplishment to complete a pass. Houston's defense has, A, been cr 
crazy good. And B, the Titans just are not calling the right plays right now to get e these easy completions. Mariota rolls around in the pocket, rolls to his left, throws on the run deep, deep. And Matthews has it for a second, but drops it. Third and 10 now, Mariota 0 for 3 now. This will be the fourth, third down for the Titans in this ball game, and they haven't converted yet. Running formation for the offense. We'll see if they try and run. They will with Henry, and Henry gets blown up for a loss of one. And Houston exhausts its last time out to stop the clock. So three and outs all over the place near the end of the first half. So both teams are completely out of timeouts. Not really a scene you see very often in the NFL, but Titans will be forced to punt because of it. And Houston should get the ball in decent field goal or field goal range. Decent uh, field position. Back to punt are the Titans. Kern kicks away. And he's got a pretty good kick out to the 21 where Fuller slips a tackle. Fuller runs way left. Fuller takes it all the way down to the 22 yard line. The biggest play of the game so far. So if you remember, Fuller had that long catch down the field that turned that got overturned because of a penalty. But this man just wants the big play wherever he can get it, special teams or otherwise. So just like that, Texans are in field goal range, 25 seconds left. They can go for seven now. Three receivers, TJ Yates reading the, the blitz that's coming and throws, hits Hopkins. That's Hopkins' first catch of the game, I believe. And they hurry up to the line inside the red zone. They snap it. Yates again off the hands of the defender and dangerously bobbles around in the air, but ultimately falls incomplete. So from the eight yard line, eight seconds to play. No timeouts. You can settle for the field goal or you can take a risk and try and get the touchdown. But if you try and do that, as I think they will, you can't run it. Last round, they ultimately went to halftime with no score in the exact same situation. Yates. Takes the sack and they're going to run out of time again. And that's halftime. And that could be a crucial mistake. They've had two chances now to get at least a t at least an easy field goal, and they haven't been able to make both plays stand, or any of them, either of them. But luckily for Houston, they get the ball to start the second half. Thompson catches it at the two and runs it up. Slips a tackle, but he's immediately brought down by the second, third, second, third, and fourth man at the 24. And if you're the Texans' offense, you have to be pretty frustrated. 
between the long punt return that ultimately set up an easy field goal, but you like to go for the touchdown and you let the time run out for the second game in a row. And the long gainer earlier in the game that was overturned because of an offensive holding call. Yates fakes the handoff. Throws under pressure. He hits Fuller. And Fuller has about 15. They'll say 17 out to the 41. His first catch of the game. That will stand. And good job by Yates standing uh, and taking that hit. Excellent poise. Yates fakes another handoff. He's got time. Steps up, throws. And it's intercepted. It's intercepted by McCain. And McCain's going to go the distance. Pick six. Titans take the lead. Kane just read the quarterback's eyes. And with some, bro some blocking, he was sprung. And that's a huge play. If Houston was able to get a touchdown on either of those two drives in the first half, they'd still be up. Instead, they're down. They're going to be down 7-3, to three, assuming he makes this kickoff. Or this kick. Castle holds, and the kick is good. So Ryan Suckup makes the kick, making it a touchdown game. The Titans kick it away now, once again, to the Texans. And Thompson runs it up. He gets a decent return out to the 29. And Houston's going to get another chance to get this touchdown and retake the lead after that pick six. So that means that Yates, after starting two touchdowns and zero picks, is now at two touchdowns and one pick in Mad Madness. False start on the first play. Number 79, it's Allen. So that'll set up a first and 15. From the 24. And if you're Houston, things are kind of just falling apart right now. It doesn't matter what you call, but you better call something high percentage. Stacking the line of scrimmage are the Titans. Miller, he's blown up. Loss of one. Eight rushes for a net gain of zero yards. Ouch. And the Titans are going to force a second and 15 now. Under center. 
is Yates. He's going to throw over the middle incomplete on the slant. Third and 15 coming up. They are one for five thus far. Four receivers. Yates. Incomplete. Threw it into triple coverage. And he was short of the sticks anyway, so the Texans just go backwards on that drive. And Tennessee's going to have a chance to make this a two possession game. So Leckler back to punt. Leckler kicks it away. Caught by Jackson. And he dodges two defenders before getting smacked by three more. Knocked down at the 33. Pretty good return. And now comes Derrick Henry. He's had a decent game so far Tennessee man between this game and the previous game it's been kind of strange to watch Mariota can't k complete a pass but they're up 7-3 to three here at the middle third of the third quarter Mariota to Henry again, who gets maybe a yard. Second and eight coming up. Knocked down by President. Mariota under center. A handoff to Henry, and the Texans read that play like a book. Third and 11 upcoming for the Titans. They're really trying to get this run game going pretty much at the cost of their entire offense, and it's not really working. So on third and 11, we'll see if they elect to run again. They ran on a, an earlier third and very long. They will throw. Mariota throws. He's got his first completion to Walker, and it's good for a first down. So, as good a time as any to complete your first pass, right? First and ten now, and we'll see if they're going to try and get Mariota in rhythm. Under center. Mariota to Henry, who goes nowhere once again. Titans are trying to play that time of possession game as well, it seems. And they're winning it. Four receivers, so we'll see if he elects to throw again. Mariota will throw. Steps up in the pocket and misses the wide open man. That's not a good look.
And if he could have completed that pass, he might have gotten a first down, maybe more. But instead, it's third and ten. Mariota is going to take the game into his own hands, and he's going to spin around a defender, pass the sticks, but he's driven down immediately right after. Nevertheless, it's good for a first once again, so back-to-back third-down conversions. They have now completed more third-down conversions in this game than they did against the Jags. Now comes the Titans in what else? A running formation. And the Texans are showing blitz. The blitz gets there. Loss of one on the run. Brings up a second and 11. I don't understand. They've out. I don't even know. They've called three times as many runs as passes, and it's only seven to three. Mariota to Murray again, who gets maybe a yard, and we're gonna have another third and long. This will be their seventh of the game. Two for six so far. Mariota knocked down hard. That's a hard hit by Brian Cushing. And that's a loss of eight on the play. So they were in field goal range, actually. And instead, they're going to have to settle the punt. And they just keep getting themselves into these predictable third and longs. And when you become predictable against this defense, they're going to tear you a new one. So that sack will bring us to the end of the third. Start of the fourth on the other side. Titans are leading 7-3. Start of the fourth. Tennessee leads seven to three, but they're forced to punt here. And Houston, who's had an opportunity, maybe even two, uh, possibly two opportunities to take the lead. Instead, they're down four points and trying to overcome their mistakes. Kern kicks it. It's a high kick. Lands at the five and gets the bounce they wanted. Ball's knocked down at the four. Excellent punt by Kern. And now the Titans have a chance to force a safety here and go up nine to three. The way Houston's been running the ball, maybe if the Titans can contain the Texans and stop Miller like they've been doing all game, there's no reason to think that they don't have a good chance of getting this safety. As they go four wide under center is Yates. Yates to Miller, and Miller has his biggest run of the game. It's good for about. 13 yards. So, forget about the safety. <laughs> Six and a half minutes left.
four wide, same formation. Yates throws deep toward the sideline, incomplete. Had the man open, but just missed the throw. Second and ten, upcoming. Alone in the backfield is Yates. Blitz coming, throws immediately, and the ball's knocked down and complete. The defender read that play like a book. Just a simple vertical play. And those are dangerous when the defender knows what's coming because he can break on the route and get that interception. So Third and ten upcoming. One for five thus far. Bunch set to his right, running back to his left. It's Yates. Throws deep down the field. Too long again. Hopkins had nobody in the area code. If he hit him in stride, that could have been six. But it's going to be fourth and ten. And Tennessee's going to get the ball again. Shane Leckler to punt. Caught at the 28 by Jackson. He gets maybe five yards before he's brought down in violent fashion. First and ten upcoming. So Mariota should be thinking pass here. But the way this game's been called so far, they might be just trying to run out the clock. Under center is Mariota, and he does hand it to Henry, and Henry has his biggest run of the game. Maybe not. Close, though. Second and five, five-yard gain. Houston's not allowed a single pass yard. Three receivers. Mariota throws and hits Matthews on the slant, and he's got a decent gain. So his two completions have been for pretty decent yardage. And the Titans are near midfield, actually in the Texans' territory. A score here would be pretty huge, even if it is a field goal. Three receivers, running formation for the offense. Fakes the handoff. Mariota flagged down on the play. He's cutting up field. He's going to get close to the first down if the play stands. Holding offense. It's Taylor Lewan. Still first down. So, first and 20 after a first and 10. And that's just killer. You're back in your own territory, and you could have gotten in. You didn't even need a first down to get in the field goal range, but now you need. I guess you can still get a close to the yard marker and be in field goal range, but it's a lot harder to go 18 yards versus 8. Henry. Knocked down in the backfield. Loss of one. And Houston's defense is going to get there. It's Watkins. Second and 21 now. And we'll see how risky 
the Titans like to call this. Would not be surprised to see them run twice in a row here. Just seems they're trying to avoid Mariota throwing an interception. It's not like he's a huge interception machine or anything. But that's how Mike Malarkey feels. Mariota, QB draw. Gets five yards on the gain, maybe. Third and 15, upcoming. Two for eight so far. Trying to make it three for eight. Or two for seven, trying to make it three for eight. Mariota fakes the handoff, rolls to his right, throws. Flag down. I think that's a pass interference call. Let's take a look. Pass interference. Defense. And it's president. What that if the holding call was a big mistake, that was a huge mistake. Now the Titans are in field goal range, and if they don't get another yard, they can make this a touchdown game. And they and the Titans get a first down, so they can run the clock quite a bit here. Mariota's gonna throw on first. Rolls to his right being pursued cuts up field he's breaking away and what should have been a sack turns into a nine yard gain so excellent job by Mariota it's showing off his speed takes a pretty nasty hit though second and one and the play clock and game clock are synced to the two minute warning. They don't have to run this if they don't want to. Mariota rolls upfield. Touchdown, Mariota. His second touchdown off a scramble in Mad Madness. And he's pretty fast. He's shown it on the previous play and that play. So that touchdown is huge. Houston now has to go down the field, get a touchdown. Get a three and out. And get another, right? Yes. As the extra point is good by Ryan Suckup. So right at the two-minute warning... Yates has had an opportunity to make this a more competitive game here late, but mistakes early have costed them. And Bill O'Brien can't believe it. Mike Malarkey can, though. Fourteen to three, Tennessee. We'll kick it away. And if you're Houston, you would love this to turn into a touchdown. Caught by Todd Manning. He's going to run it out past the 20. And brought down at the 23. So he should have just taken the knee. But out comes Houston. Two yards further back than they could have been. Yates and company needs to pull off something crazy here now down two scores they need Wolf Fuller's been huge in this game so far he's had two huge plays one of them was called back but he should get the ball here for the rest of this game it seems that's what I would do Yates, time in the pocket, managing the pocket beautifully, and he's taken down for the sack. That was a coverage sack for sure. Had all the time in the world in the pocket. 
Yates. He's got time again. Throws. Incomplete. So just like that, it's third and 12. And the Texans have been abysmal on third down. One for six. Trying to make it two for seven. Third and 12. Yates fakes the handoff. He's got time for the third time. All day. Yates hits Miller for a huge gain. Spins around the defender. He's going to go to the house. 10, 5, touchdown. Texans, 79 yards. I believe that's the other Miller, Braxton Miller. What a huge play at this point in the game. And it's a one-score game. Houston's going to go for two. Yates to Miller. And Miller gets in. Two-point conversion's good. It's a three-point game. Houston has full timeouts. So don't go anywhere. This one is far from over. Miller, who's really struggled so far in this game, comes up when it matters most. So a minute 10 left. Tennessee will have a chance to run out the clock, but they need some first downs first. At least one. Onside kick, kick on coming. Kicks away, and it's picked up immediately by Eric Decker. So at the 45, Houston can give up maybe six or seven yards, I want to say. And without a doubt, this is the best game so far, I guess, of round two. We are only four games in, though. Mariota under center. To Henry. And they'll continue to do what they've been doing most of the game, just running the ball. Second and nine as Houston takes a timeout. Just over a minute left. Houston trying to get a three and out here and now. If they want to get a field goal or a touchdown to force overtime or win this game. Loser goes home. Mariota under center. Mariota to Henry. Henry's got some gain, and he might have a first. They will say it's a first. So now the Texans need a turnover.
And I must say already, um, I must remind you guys that Houston had a field goal attempt in its pocket right before halftime. And they ran out of time. Tennessee's just going to take a knee, and Houston can only watch. So let's take a look at the bracket right now. Titans move on. They're going to take on the Browns in round three. Didn't picture myself saying that, but that's the way it looks, and that's the way it's going to happen. So hope you guys will stick around for that as we get to the end of this one. Two more kneel downs should do it. Mariota takes the knee, and it looks like they'll take a kneel and probably have to come out in some sort of pump formation, but they'll just have to basically stand there. Alright, that should do it. So there we have it. The Titans win 14 to 11 and they'll get to move on to the next round. So was your prediction right? Let us know in the comments. If you want to see the Titans in their next game be sure to subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed it and until next time this is Phantom Roy saying have a good one.